Fanatics is selling its stake in Candy Digital, a non-fungible token company, as investors' confidence in the asset class dwindles. Michael Rubin's sports company Fanatics was reported to be selling its majority 60% stake in the NFT startup on January 4th. However, the crypto bear market has taken a heavy toll on the NFT sector in 2022 and Rubin's firm appears to be shifting away from standalone NFT businesses. Candy Digital will be purchased by an investor group led by Mike Novogratz Galaxy Digital. This was a good result for investors, especially in an imploding NFT market that has been precipitous drops in both transaction volumes and standalone NFT prices, he added. Hong Kong authorities are looking for new designs for a central bank digital currency, with the government now proposing to issue a CBDC in the form of a stablecoin. Wu Zhehuang, a member of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region Legislative Council, believes that converting the Hong Kong digital dollar into a stablecoin would benefit the adoption of new technologies such as Web3. The option of developing eHKD into a stablecoin has the potential to address the risk associated with virtual assets in Web3 effectively. Wu Zhehuang, According to the lawmaker, such a design of the Hong Kong digital dollar would help authorities gain investors' trust in the Web3 industry and better protect users from issues like hacks. LG Electronics has announced a collaboration with the cloud-based technology platform Orbit to bring the metaverse experience to living rooms. Users will be able to view interconnected virtual worlds, concerts and artificial intelligence, multiplayer games directly through their LG TVs as part of the collaboration, making it easier for users to access and interact in the metaverse. Users will be able to access super high-fidelity interconnected virtual worlds and experiences such as virtual concerts and artificial intelligence generative multiplayer games, according to a press release. In the upcoming segment, we will update you about the following news. Crypto P2E game investments not protected by law, China court says. Crypto lender Genesis lays off 30% more of its staff. Crypto conglomerate DCG closes the wealth management business. Stay tuned for more updates.